Now we're going to see what the Olympian in the pink can do with her. You know, I would think with the Taekwondo or uh, background, she would want to keep her distance. So we probably needs to try to close the gap here and try to get to the inside. Beautiful triangle. Great triangle by Mia. That's what I'm She saying. needs to clear that arm to the other side. She can finish that triangle, man. Just clear it. There you go. Pull the head down. She's got to finish here. All she has to do is pull the head down, clear that arm to the other side, and she can finish this fight, man. Charlotte's still. I'm telling you right now, Charlotte's tough. Yeah, she's still throwing strikes, doing what she can, trying to pull this up. She's. Now, I'm, I want to add. Oh, wanna... great pass that right there. Good pass, man. That just goes to show you how tough that Charlotte is, man, for her I'm to be able to. She's tough now, right? Dude, I'm going to tear it out. She was in a triangle. Uh, that, that triangle was tight, dude. What was that? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear me. I can hear you, brother. There we go. I don't know, I don't know if I just got cut off. Oh, or my what, goodness, dude. look at Yeah, they just. Well, these two uh, young ladies you know, since you didn't hear me, I just wanted to say that goes to show how Charlotte, how tough Charlotte is, you know, for me to be, to have that triangle locked up tight, for her to fight out of it, man, that, that that's really impressive. And she had it in deep. Yeah. Now she's back on the back, man. This has been a good little fight, man. From the very beginning, they have not stopped. I mean, yeah. it's been steady. I, I've said it many, many times. Well, I like the way she was able to turn that around. Yep. Good first round. Now, I'm here to tell you, uh, we're going to see how much grappling experience Charlotte has because after being uh, in that triangle, in that grappling submission, she, her body's feeling different than it's ever felt before. If this is her debut in MMA, if that's what that's what separates striking, taekwondo, that's different uh, from MMA. Is, man, when you, once you go into those grappling exchanges, it's different. So I'm excited to see how she responds to it. But there's no doubt in her toughness, man. If he... There's no doubt in Charlotte's toughness. That's and that's one of the things I was going to ask you. Uh, you know, uh, as you're turning, as you're training with folks at, at your gym, as they come to you, uh, say they've got experience, but they're getting ready to make their MMA debut. Do you give them any real fights? What do you mean to, by that? To, to get ready for it. I mean, I know you train hard, but dude, you, no. You ever seen anybody? I'm going to tell you, my guys around? aren't going to fight unless they did three hard rounds with, with, with somebody in the gym. So, uh, my guys aren't going to fight without that experience. But that that doesn't mean to say every gym's like that, dude. So we'll see. That's, that's why I ask. Yeah. Because some some won't. Yeah. And it's a big surprise to their to their fighters when they get it. Ooh. Nice, good. That was a strong right hand. It good dropped short her, hand by Mia. Kind of buckled her knees a little bit there. Buckled Charlotte Craig's knees. Yeah, but she that's a good right knee, too. Up. I like how she's got the underhook there, man, uh, and got good position, man. Uh, Mia's doing a great job. Really what she needs to do is try to, try to uh, jack that underhook up. Oh, now we're back to some space.
Charlotte making good use of her jab, but, but I'm telling you, Mia's landing just about every right she throws. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. No, look but how I mean, you, she's tough. You gotta see, man, anytime, um, anytime you're able to clinch after being rocked, that helps her recover her, her, right. her conscience, you know? That's right. Charlotte's tough now. Yeah, I mean, she's she, taking. She, she could have, you know, she could have potentially got the finish there. Yeah, she, she's taking some big shots. Nice takedown by Mia, right to mount. You know, it, it, I think Mia could really get a finish here. Maybe look to do a sub. Got a minute left, a uh, little over a minute left in the second round here. MMA debut of Charlotte Rose Craig, Olympian with the uh, United States Olympic team in Beijing. But MMA debut, and she has pulled a tough opponent in Mia Rog Rog. Yeah, no doubt. If you ask Mia, what are your strengths? She's gonna tell you God. I like that, dude. Looks like she's trying to set up in maybe an arm triangle or, or maybe an arm lock here. Yeah, I saw her trying to pull the left over. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the second round of three. We're not doing any intermissions, they say. We're just going to keep going. Yeah, they should. Oh, my goodness. She's raining down damage on her, but she's just got to survive another three seconds. And that's it. Time. Saved by the bell. For, that's, that's a perfect example of it right there. But my goodness, Charlotte Rose Craig, what a tough young lady. She has taken some punishment here. Thank you, baby. See? She all right. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we just got intel. Uh, Charlotte's dad was like, man, I just wanted to be a golfer, but she, just, she decided to be a fighter. Yeah. I got the same thing for my family. My family wanted me to choose a bit simpler, non-impact uh, uh, career, but they, they, uh, they got a fighter. At least I'm a good fighter, right, Jeff? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I was fixing to say they could have ended up with a crappy fighter, you know, a lot of medical bills. <laughs> But if you got to have a fighter in the family, make it a good one. That's JJ. right. TJ, I'm sorry. That's right. Yeah, that you can you can tell now. Uh, Charlotte's gotten into the cage and and she's a little more timid on this third and final round. I, I don't know, dude. She's throwing kicks, man. She, she, she is good. Uh, but, but Mia catches a kick, puts her on the back exactly where she needs to put the fights, you know. Uh, she, she's in good position here. Just, uh, you know, and this, uh, again, this is just my perspective, but uh, I mean, Mia's just got more experience in the cage. Right. And, and fighting in the cage with people that have harmful intent, you know. Yeah. She'll throw combos off a caught kick. Yeah. 
But again, Mia back into a position of dominance. Uh-oh, Mia might get, get her this, back here. Yeah, if she can get this choke in. Rocky's looking close. There might be a finish here. Yeah, but at this at this point, I mean, Charlotte's gonna have to find her some way to knock Mia out. Yeah. Well, she's but I'm gonna tell you, right here. for a debut though, uh, she's gonna get a lot of lessons out of this one, and, yeah. and you know she, you can just tell by her record, uh, she's gonna take every lesson from this yeah. and, tur and, and turn it into a positive. So. We're happy to have her with Pete fighting. 100%. Oh, oh, oh. I, I thought she was, I almost thought she was gonna catch you. You hard, that hardly ever see that happen, but occasionally. It's possible. Occasionally, it will. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, this fight is all me abroad. performance from both of these young ladies. Uh, Charlotte Craig out of Laguna Beach, California. Classic fight team. Mia Raw Graw out of Houston. With War Training Center. Taking a shot in the dark. I'm I'm gonna say that was that was all Mia. I wouldn't be who I am without you guys. I want to thank my family for all the support, and I'm just grateful to be here. I love what I do. So hey, let's give her another hand, man. She looked great and brought some swag to the cage. Congratulations. 